of the Kredusha syndrome is routinely conducted through means of thorough clinical evaluation, where during the days where the infant was just born, the infant would undergo through observations and physical exams. Because of this, healthcare providers may note the clinical symptoms associated with abnormal conditions. In order to address the future symptoms of the child, if ever observed with such findings, the identification of characteristic findings and chromosomal findings that reveal a deletion on the short arm of chromosome 5 is very essential in these matters. In this symptom, cat-like cry is the most prominent clinical feature in newborn children and is usually diagnostic for the Kredusha syndrome. In addition to mere thorough observations made by the hospital personnel, the analysis of an individual chromosomes may be conducted. With this method, the missing portion or the deletion of a part of the short arm of the chromosome 5 may be seen in order to address the symptoms that may occur in the future. If not, a more specific test known as fluorescence in situ hybridization or FISH may be used to confirm a diagnosis of Kredusha syndrome. For the treatment, there is no specific treatment is available for this syndrome. However, children born with this genetic condition will most likely have a need of support from their parents and medical inclined professionals to help the child achieve his or her maximum potential despite her undeveloped intelligence. With early and consistent educational intervention, as well as physical and language therapy, children with Kredusha syndrome are capable of reaching their fullest potential and can lead full and meaningful lives.